And these kinds of voice boards work best when you're trying to get students to contribute to something or build on some knowledge about something. So here's just a simple example uh, from a conference a few months ago uh, where all of the participants were uh, Chinese speaking. So I asked them a question, you've now been in Eugene for a couple of weeks. How has your visit gone? And gave them a chance to respond. You can see that person number three responded in text and person number five responded in video. And some wrote in English and uh, some spoke in Chinese. Just give you a quick example, scrub through a little bit here just to show you how responsive Anvil can be. <laughs> So you can see that for conversation, video makes a big difference. Um, you know, the audio is not great here, but um, you know, it's two people in a crowded room uh, talking into a laptop. You can definitely get better results with the use of headsets, when, especially when people are working on their own, like for pronunciation practice. Um, Another, you know, kind of voice board is where you give them a prompt, perhaps, you know, and this is a very simple and common task, you know, here's two photos, see if you can find the difference between the one on the left and the one on the right. And again, with the same participants, let's see what they have to say. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Um, if you're wondering why they're not looking at each other, they're looking at a screen where they're also actually seeing those photos at the top. Um, and, you know, you can see from the length of time, they talk for a couple of minutes. Um, and to resolve or find seven differences in a photo in a couple of minutes is pretty fast. It usually takes me longer than that for that uh, task. Um, so every in this voice board, everybody who wants to participate, you know, their 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 posts are public and are seen by all. Um, the teacher can at any point either go in and edit them or give a comment or delete, and so can other participants. So you can see that uh, uh, participant two, participant six, and participant four all commented on participant five. They thought they did a good job. So, you know, it's, it's no small task to get, you know, full screen video working. Um, we think we've done a pretty good job making that happen. Um, but the page back